What's up guys? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, back with another LEGO Batman. This is actually the final villain level of the free play. That's right, it's level 30, Dying of Laughter. We're going to get all 10 of those mini kits. We're going to get that stud requirement, find that power brick, and well, the hostage, that's kind of another story. I've got a little bit of a, uh, well, let's see here. How do I, how do I put this? Somehow along the way during my story run, I accidentally got the hostage in peril on this level now it actually took me a while to figure it out because it saves those as soon as you get them not once you save at the end of the level it's got an auto save feature which other parts of the game do not so you can see here i have the frown turned upside down but we're going to go to a quick flashback here of our story recording and i want to show you this this was actually a failed run right here i go up the elevator here after stepping on the pressure sensitive switches we get all the way to the top and as soon as i go to the right watch the hostage fall no so I'm not sure if that was a weird glitch, if that was supposed to happen like that. Now, according to my guide, the hostage in peril is actually upstairs uh, a little further down the road. Now, good news is we're going to show you where that is. Uh, we also have quick links to that down below in the video description, so be sure to check those out as well. We're going to go ahead and load into the free play, which it's the final free play for the villain side, Dying of Laughter. And uh, we're going to let the game choose most of our characters, but we stick with that face of clay. <laughs> Now, as per usual, we're going to recommend you go ahead and take out all the bad guys in the area before trying to advance as it just gets really frustrating as they continuously shoot at you and stop you from whatever you're trying to do. Now, also make note that we did get that supervillain stud requirement already as we have that 3840 stud multiplier on thanks to those red bricks or power bricks as they call them. Boy, I'll be glad to be done with this one and not have to uh, acknowledge that they call them power bricks. That's weird to me, but whatever. It, it's all good. We're going to go ahead and use the Batarang to toss around and take all the guys up on that upper balcony. Just, again, not needed, but super helpful and uh, makes things a little more smooth. Once they are all taken care of, go ahead and take a strong character to the middle here and pull the strong handle on the left side, not once, but twice. And it's going to go ahead and reveal the first mini kid. Woo to the hoo! All right, red brick. This one's a little trickier. You got to run up this far stairwell up to the top. Then you got to use some sort of a projectile like the Batarang or Robberang. Go ahead and turf it up there and take out the chandeliers. We're actually going to drop down and build those bricks into a vehicle. This is actually kind of like a, uh, <laughs> it's like a floor waxer, basically. We're going to clean up all these piles of paint on the ground. It looks like Joker left around. I'm not sure how or why, but uh, someone's got a leaky uh, something. But we'll go ahead and uh, do a couple circles here. Now, it's important. Now, there's a lot of things on the ground around here, but the most important and hardest to find is the one up here. It's actually in the back right corner. We're going to show you where that is. Clean it up. There we go. Oh, to the end. And then we'll make our way back around down below. And we actually make uh, an intentional miss there. There's a pile on the right that we'll come back for. That's actually where we're going to park the old Zamboni and roll up to the top there and grab our power brick that uh, spawns up top once we get done there. It's actually the invincibility. But yeah, you gotta take them all out, and there's, I think there's like eight or nine, like, paint splatters on the ground. Uh, just make sure you drive all around, and of course, we've got the video, and we show you where we get all of ours. Again, the last one we saved, it's over here, right where we're gonna park this bad boy. And, all right, look at that, it's up top there. Now, this actually leads to another mini kit up here, too. Now, there's a couple of ways you can get this next one. Make sure you grab that red brick. We're going to use Old Penguin and his umbrella to Mary Poppins over to this ledge over here. Now, that's kind of a sketchy move. I almost fall off right there. There's actually a double jump point right down below us that we'll show you in a second, but we're going to use our sonar gun here. Thank you, Batman. And inside, we grab that mini kit. Now, real quick, we'll show you the double jump here. You can jump up on this ledge right here and double jump up there. Makes it pretty easy if you can't get that floater. And over in the far left side, towards the front side of your screen, we're going to use Poison Ivy and her, I guess, minty fresh breath? I don't know what's going on here. She's uh, blowing on the old seeds. They are popping up. And uh, I will just leave that at that. And let's see here. We'll go ahead and use the old tightrope. Get all the way down to the mini kit up there. And woo to the hoo! We got a mini kit number three, and so should you. 
All right, now to some story-based bits. We're going to go ahead and use Joker's hand buzzer to shock this generator, pop out all three of those lights, and, of course, it gives us some bouncing bricks we can build and slide down the old checkerboard path here. Now, I actually tried in my scouting run to see if we could double jump on this left side without it, and I was unsuccessful. I'm not saying that it can't be done, but I wasn't able to do it, so I highly recommend pushing this guy over, jump up onto it, double jump up onto this balcony, and around we go! Actually, I think I missed a jump here in a second. I tried to get fancy. <laughs> yeah, the irony is, is that if I go straight across, you can actually make that jump, and I'll prove it to you, because I'm going to... Build up the old tight pants, tight rope here, and double jump, and look at that, I didn't even need it. I just, I got distracted by that bluesy in the back window. All right, use the old hand buzzer again, and oh, this should look familiar. We just watched the old flashback from our story fail run, where we get the actual hostage. Now, keep in mind, we are not going to see the hostage, because apparently we already got it. And uh, But we're going to show you the, the place where we got it accidentally and where it's supposed to be based on our guy. Now, if you ran to the far right side immediately, there is a small chance that that guy could have been right there holding the hostage. But we go to the left and bust through this silver gate using a bomb, 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 bomb. We got a nice little secret spot back here in the corner where we can use a little cover to build that ladder without taking shots from the baddies. And we can climb up it when it's done and grab that mini kit. Now, right here, there's that piece that fell off. Notice I, uh, well, I've, <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah, I meant, I meant to do that. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, that's definitely where our hostage fell, and hopefully yours did too. Uh, the best way to tell if you have it or not is to look to see if that frown uh, or is a frowny face or a smiley face. It, it's a little icon next to the level itself, which we showed you when we loaded in. Hopefully you guys can check that out. So... But uh, there is another spot where that hostage might be. We're going to take you up to it right now. It's actually right next to a mini kit, so you can't miss it, even if you wanted to, if you're getting all the mini kits. So we'll go ahead and use the old hand buzzer, ride the elevator up, double jump over, and there's actually a spot up here where both characters need to stand on, and it's going to open up that door and reveal that mini kit. However, my AI is not so AI, as they apparently missed the jump or got knocked off, and you can see they're waiting down there. So I jumped down, and I accidentally missed the jump. I toggle over to the other character to make it look like it wasn't me. That's right, it, it wasn't me. And we'll go ahead and ride the elevator up. And this time, now that there's no baddies, hopefully my AI can follow. And look at that, success, success. Both need to jump on it. It should lift it all the way up, grab mini kit number five. And now we're going to glide over to the left side. Now, this is where that hostage in peril should be, right here. Woo -doo -doo. If it's not already saved or it didn't fall off down below, that's where the resting place should be. Look at that. What a bad penguin floater. It can't even make it across. Uh, yeah, that, that was actually my bad. All right, we've got some moon boots going on over here. We need to ride up the old uh, metal wall here. So thank you, Robin, for your assistance. Up top, we'll grab mini kit number seven before making across this makeshift bridge that drops out when you run across it. So be careful. All the way up this spiral staircase, we find a few bad guys and a pile of bouncing bricks. We're going to get those out of the way and then focus on this freezy puddle in the back. That's right. Pull out Mr. Freeze and blast it, pressing the circle or B button, depending on which console you're playing on. And watch it build up into like a, a makeshift frosty. All right. We'll grab that mini kit after we bash its face in. And I'll try to make the jump, but I failed not once. I think twice. Yep. Three times. Or wait. I didn't fail at all. Uh, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. I'm taking out all those bad guys because you notice the first time I failed because I missed the jump. The second time I got shot out of the air and didn't make it. Third time the AI didn't make it. That wasn't me. Fourth time I make it. I mean, first try. Nailed it. Haha. -ha. All right. We're all the way across. We're going to use Joker's buzzer one more time. It opens the door. We're going to bust open the front side. We're going to build up this piece to go ahead and make it easier for our AI and uh yes up top we are in the final area here in fact we're going to take out all these silver bricks right in front of us that's going to reveal a bunch of bouncing bricks if i can get my aim gooder there that's right i said gooder deal with it um <laughs> obviously you haven't watched any of our streams if you're questioning that anyways uh we'll blast it all and build up not one but two machine gun turrets uh yeah that's a funny angle right there i missed that again uh, I tried to cheese it right here. I build up the one and I hop in it. And the goal is you got to ring both bells at once. Now, the easiest way to do this is likely to have two characters both shooting at the same time. But you can actually hit both bells from the right side. But for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to activate until both are built. So 
Uh, maybe you can, but it wasn't working for me. And so I built the second one up and watch this. I ring both bells. Ring the bells. Look at that mini kit waiting. Oh, there's some coppas trying to stop us down below too. We'll go ahead and ratty those baddies here in a second. We're going to double jump up onto this high right side, sort of avoiding most of the story-based bits of having to build and fly and do push things and all that. We're, we're going to skip both of that. Both sides, in fact. What we need to do is build up both of these power sensors in order to uh, complete the level. So we're going to build up the right one, but not build up the left one. But you can see I was trying to do it, and these bad guys were not making it easy. So, again, take out all the bad guys before trying to build or pull or push things. Now, again, we don't want to actually ring the bell and build the piece in the back. We just want to ring the bell a bunch of times, and it should give us a mini kit. Now, I'm not sure why Poison Ivy wasn't coming up here. Which way do I go? Which way? Come on up here! So we'll go ahead and ring it. you got to ring it a bunch. So make sure that hammer slams down, and it's going to puke out a bunch of studs. It's also going to bring in some more bad guys. Lucky us, lucky us. On like the seventh or eighth bounce, we should see a mini kit fall out. Oh, there it is. Go ahead and swoop that up. Now, you should be good to go with all the collectibles. You, you got the power brick or red brick. We found that pretty early. Got all ten of those mini kits. And, of course, we freed that hostage in peril in many ways. Hopefully you did too. And woo to the hoo-hoo. We officially got done dead. Invincibility red brick on lock, lock, lock. That's right. Well, of course, we got that super villain stud requirement, which in our story run through, uh, it seemed that it was much lower than the free play requirement. It's still, it's weird. The, the free play and stories don't match up. This happened with Indiana Jones and I believe one of the Star Wars, too. It's kind of weird how that does that. Not, not all the current Lego games don't do that. So I guess I'm just not used to it. Hopefully we get a current Lego game. It's almost like a myth at this point, but... All right, guys, uh, mini kits, stack them up. Let's go ahead and check a check them out. Yeah, we got Joker's helicopter. Get to the chopper. It's going to actually max out our studage. I was unaware this was a thing. Four billion is all the counter goes up to? I, I had a lot of extra there, too, but... Uh, that being said, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you are on the Xbox, that should have triggered a achievement or an achievement if i'm being proper here and uh yeah I, I don't remember the name of it but it was for maxing out the stud counter which ends up being four million which again i didn't know but hey guys that's gonna go ahead and do it for level 30 dying of laughter we're gonna jump into the villain or hero side next as always until next time See ya.